back from vacation and back on the offensive. President Trump unknowingly recorded as he has been before, this time by his former staffer, best known by one name, Omarosa. He is known to be an entertainer, to exaggerate, but I never expected him to lie to the country. A TV villain on Trump's show, The Apprentice. Don't be childish. Oh, you're childish, sweetheart. She got canned by him years ago. Omarosa has to go. You're fired. Only to be rehired on his campaign and then in the White House. is actually a very nice person. Nobody knows that. But... <laughs> Last December, White House Chief of Staff John Kelly took her into the Situation Room and she hit record. This has to do with some pretty serious viola integrity violations. Um, so I'll let it go with that. Fired once again, she was rolling when the president called. Um, you know, they run a big operation, but I didn't know it. I didn't know that. Yeah. Damn it. I don't love you leaving at all. Now, promoting her tell-all book, Manigault Newman is releasing tapes and talking trash about Trump who she also claims used the N-word as the host of The Apprentice. There are multiple tapes, let's establish that. And when you read my book tomorrow, which is available tomorrow on Hinge, you'll see that there are three different sources who corroborate the different things but that you he say says. You... At first, Trump only had one word for her. Low life. She's a low life. Then on Twitter, candidly admitting he kept her in the White House because she only said great things about me. Trump has threatened to release secret tapes in the past, and he's been haunted by some, too. Manigault Newman might not be the only one with recordings from behind those walls. And so the cycle continues. In a world of deceit and uh, threats, it, usually people who live in that kind of a world wind up being not just the perpetrators, but the victims. All the more meaningful in the most famous house in the world. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Washington.